I'm Rajiv Joshi, Principal Solution Architect at RTI. I've been involved with the RTI um, and industrial space for over 20 years. As a member company, RTI, we've been involved in the IIC since the inception of the IIC, since the very beginning. And we have been really involved in putting together the technical documents, so the reference architecture, the security framework, and the quantity framework. Um, and we think of them as the three key pillars of industrial IoT. Um, you know, they are foundational because I, in, industrial internet is about connectivity, it's about security, and it's really about having common architecture. And once you have that, then you can start to think about, you know, how do you apply those common frameworks for medical, for smart grids, for autonomous vehicles, for all the kind of things we want to do, you know, manufacturing and so on. So my role at RTI really um, is, is three different hats that I wear. One is uh, consulting uh, for our customers and helping them design IoT architectures. Uh, second, um, it's advanced R&D um, and leading uh, research projects and advanced product development. And third is really leading the IIC work in connectivity as the co-chair of the connectivity task group. So as a connectivity task group, you know, we've grown to uh, over 100 plus members. The big achievement um, since, since our inception has been really uh, the connectivity framework, the Industrial Internet Connectivity Framework, as we like to call it, the IICF. And it is one of the three foundational documents from the IIC that lay out the technical groundwork for industrial IoT industri you know, and how to build industrial IoT systems. The tagline of IIC is things are coming together. The mission of IIC really is, is accelerating IoT. And to do that, you need common nomenclature, you need common terminology, you need common reference architectures, you need sort of a, a common understanding. And that's one of the things that IIC is building. The IIC has three main goals. Um, one is to provide clarity, second is to provide, set a stable long-term foundation, and third is to provide guidance. In terms of clarity, it's clarifying and, and mapping out the landscape of connectivity, which can be quite confusing and it's a very rich, rich landscape. Then in terms of setting a foundation, setting that stable foundation is defining a reference architecture that allows you to embrace the old and the new um, technologies in this space. And then because technologies come and go, but the science does not change. Uh, so, you know, that is the science part of connectivity. And then uh, Third is it's bringing the science together with existing standards and technologies. And uh, what we did was we built a set of worksheets, which we call assessment templates, which allow you to um, evaluate any connectivity technology and you can evaluate um, system requirements and you can now make the right technology selection. You hear the terms connectivity, you hear the term communications, you hear the term interoperability, and you wonder you know, how they relate and how they are different. The word communicate has been around with us for 200 years plus. But if you look at the word connectivity, it's only been around since the advent of computers, since you know, after the 1950s. So again, this, so you know, communicate is a verb and connectivity infrastructure is a noun. And really, when we talk about connectivity, we are referring to the connectivity infrastructure. You know, whether it's tin cans or whether it's you know, telephone lines or whether it's the web infrastructure or whether it's something more sophisticated that we need for industrial IoT, which provides syntactic interoperability. It's really the infrastructure side of it. Now, the infrastructure doesn't mean that, you know, we have communication just because you and I have a phone line doesn't mean we communicate or, you know, so communication requires an exchange of information. You may say something and I may not understand the language or vice versa. And my kids sometimes make up their own language. Uh, right, and, and, and so then I, I can't participate. So even though there is communication, doesn't mean a third party could join the conversation or participate. So they have to be on a common language. You know, the IICF has a critical role because it's bringing all the players in the ecosystem, especially in the industrial IoT ecosystem, together. It is the largest organization that is uh, in this space, and all the major players are participating in the IIC. So I think it is our role help people understand this technical foundation and help people get on board because if we have common nomenclature in the industry if we have a common understanding then we can advance the state of the art otherwise you know you start from scratch every time and and that really doesn't help anyone just getting the message out and helping people assimilate digest and really sort of rally around that 
I think this is a key role for the IIC. The primary benefit of IICF is that it accelerates IoT, and it does it in two different ways. One is it helps the suppliers in the ecosystem by helping them position their products, their platforms, their solutions. It also helps organizations who are building standards to identify the gaps, and also vendors to identify gaps in their offering for IoTs. And then from a user's point of view, it gives them a clear map as to you know, what they need. And you know, they can look at this assessment worksheet that we have built, um, and they can then prioritize their system requirements accordingly, and then use that to make a technology selection. I recently won, well, just today, <laughs> earlier today, the IC Individual Contributor Award, and uh, I'm just honored and humbled to receive this award. Um, I think I found my lucky place, but in terms of the award process, uh, there's a number of nominees, they come from the membership, and then there's some voting that happens among the uh, leads. And when I look at the other nominees, I think they're all icons in themselves, so I'm, I'm quite honored to receive this. When IIC was formed, and this was early 2014, you know, it was sort of really gave a name to the market we were in. That's how we felt. Um, I've been at RTI quite long, uh, over 20 years now. And, you know, back in the early days, we wrote down our, our RTI's vision statement goes something along the lines to help uh, to enable smart, intelligent machines to serve mankind. For us, this is extremely well aligned as a member company. Uh, because really this is giving a name to what we would have otherwise done. We used to call it big weird stuff because nobody really understood what we did. But, but now, you know, I think uh, that time has come where, where, you know, the whole industry is, is, is moving in that direction. So, and so if you think about it and what, what IIC and Industrial IoT is about, really is very much in alignment. So to us, as, uh, you know, as RTI, you know, this is our market. I mean, this is what we do. This is what we have been doing. This is reality. The world's moving in a new direction. So it's really exciting for us. And that's why actually we've been involved so much. Um, and to me, I mean, this is home, right? It's just exciting to be part of it. This is why, you know, I'm at RTI and this is why RTI is in IIC. And I think we continue to move forward in that direction and we continue to be passionate about it. To me, it just feels like this is wonderful and, and this is exactly what we need to keep moving forward and keep accelerating and I can see that happening.